So let's talk about another disruptor, blockchain. This is one of the things that people probably least understand of all the things we'll talk about. Um, what is blockchain? A lot of times people think blockchain and they automatically think Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin is just one of over 1,500 cryptocurrencies uh, in blockchain. And, and blockchain, cryptocurrencies is only one of many ways to use the blockchain. So let me try to explain what blockchain is. Um, today, when we interact in the digital world or even in the offline world, we go through a platform, a, a company, an intermediary, but we're going through somebody in the middle, right? So if I want to pay my bills, if I want to um, transact money, I have to go through a bank, right? The bank is that intermediary. If I want to buy travel, I go through a travel agency, I'll go through um, maybe uh, Expedia, or I'll go through Airbnb, but I'm going through somebody in the middle. Um, if I want to you know, get a, a car, or I want a ride, I go through Uber. I'm going through somebody who connects both sides of that marketplace. What, and there's a few reasons for that. Number one, that intermediary, that platform, is trusted by both sides of the equation. Secondly, that intermedi intermediary usually controls the database. So the bank has the database that controls all of our transactions. Um, Uber knows about all of our rides and makes sure everything is kept in one place. Um, and the third reason is because that intermediary enables us to transact. Right? We need to be able to send, whether that's payment through Visa or, or money, but we need to be able to transact. And Uber makes sure that the Drivers paid, and Uber makes sure that I'm charged and that everything lands correctly. Well, in the future with blockchain, we blow up the platform. There is no platform anymore. And the reason we do that is because all of those things reside in the blockchain. So as it relates to trust, everything is completely incorruptible. It's completely transparent. Everybody can see everything that's gone on. There's nowhere to hide. There's no way to kind of rip off the system when it comes to the trust piece of it. When it comes to the database, there is no central database. The database is across the blockchain. So everybody has part of that database as part of the blockchain. So there is no central database anymore. And thirdly, as far as ability to transact, that's what cryptocurrency is for. So we're not going to need money anymore. Well, we'll have money. It's still, it's still a currency, but we're easily able to pay through blockchain. So in the future, I wouldn't want to be a bank. I wouldn't want to be Visa or MasterCard. In fact, I wouldn't want to be Uber because we don't need Uber anymore. Right? We don't need Uber taking their 20, 25% out of the system because with blockchain, we'll connect the rider and the driver directly. Right? So any kind of centralized platform is going to be blown up in the future. This will be massively disruptive across the economy. Right? Not so much socially, but definitely uh, in, in terms of economic terms. Let's talk about franchising. How does this land here in our world? Well, supply chain is a huge thing, right? Especially in the restaurant business and things like that. There's many movements as, as a product moves from the farm to the table, right? What blockchain does is it tracks every one of those elements. So as a product moves from point A to point B, you know, how long did it take? What was the temperature every step along the, the way? If the truck stopped, where did it stop for how long? All of that is completely tracked in real time. No manual, no lack of transparency, it's all there. That's why Starbucks is now beginning to track beans from the field through to the cup. Uh, Walmart is beginning to use blockchain in its logistics. So it's very powerful and will have a big impact in franchising as far as supply chain. What about smart contracts? This is another important feature of blockchain. So today, when we create legal agreements, we're creating a, an agreement between the, you know, what are the obligations that both parties are willing to commit to, and it's, it's documented in that document. Imagine that document coming to life and actually participating in every stage of the transaction. Okay, that's what a smart contract is. It's actually tracking who's doing what through the process, tracking that the proper payments are being made along the way. In, when we do legal agreements, Today, we have the ability to opt out of litigation, right? We can choose arbitration as a dispute me uh, mechanism in our agreement. Well, in the future, we're going to be able to opt out of both of those, right? Because we'll be able to uh, arbitrate any disputes through the blockchain. All the participants in the blockchain will be able to help um, uh, 
moderate what the outcome is because every part of it is completely transparent. It's much easier to say who did what and who didn't do what. Um, so that's where you know, that'll have huge impact. Uh, I don't know if it'll affect franchise agreements, but the point is it'll affect many agreements uh, throughout uh, the economy.